Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. A piece of news that broke the technological barriers of the West spread quickly around the world. It is reported that Russia has developed a 7 nanometers lithography machine, and China has also developed Kirin. These two major advances in science and technology have aroused great interest among people and also stimulated various discussions and speculations. Russian 7 nanometers lithography technology, a war against Europe and the United States. First, let China pay attention to Russia's 7 nanometers lithography technology. As we all know, the photolithography process is controlled by European and American technology giants. But this time, with the exposure of 7 nanometers EUV, Russia broke through the blockade of European and American countries and attracted the attention of the world. The significant progress made in 7 nanometers exposure machines has enabled Russia to compete head-on with Western countries in cutting-edge technology for wafer production. This not only marks Russia's achievement of an important scientific and technological progress, but also proposes a new technological hegemony to Western countries. China Kirin, leading in the field of integrated circuits. Let China set its sights on China, a technology giant known globally. In addition, the Kirin processor released by China some time ago has also attracted widespread attention. Kirin is an important milestone in China's integrated circuit technology innovation. Moreover, Kirin is also a symbol of China's ability to independently control technology. China's Kirin processors are gradually going abroad and being adopted by more mobile phone manufacturers. This move is obviously a powerful counterattack against technology from abroad. These two groundbreaking scientific and technological achievements have allowed China to see the light of day. From Russian 7 nanometers lithography machines to Chinese Kirin, these all represent a major progress in technological innovation. Their breakthrough not only means a new possibility, but also challenges the technological dominance of Europe and the United States. In this technology-driven society, such competition and breakthroughs are inevitable. In the past few decades, these chip markets controlled by European and American technology giants have left other countries passively beaten. Now, Russia and China have made significant progress one after another, giving China a new dawn. This technological breakthrough is good news to the whole world. First of all, the advent of Russia's 7 nanometers EUV lithography technology has presented new opportunities and challenges to Russia's technological development and has also proposed a new way of thinking for countries around the world. Historically, the Western technology monopoly has caused bottlenecks in technological development and dependence on foreign countries. Today, Russia has made a breakthrough, giving others greater freedom and greater room to compete. At the same time, Kirin's research and development in China is also an issue that cannot be ignored. China has invested a lot of energy in independent control and has made great achievements within a small scope. With the emergence of Kirin chips, 
China's international status has been further improved, and it has gradually become the largest player in the world. But don't be too optimistic. Although these two aspects are huge advances in technological development, more efforts and more time will have to be made to attack the Western technological giants. European and American countries have established technology monopolies for many years and have great advantages in R&D, production and market. If Russia and China want to maintain their competitive advantages, they must increase investment and support and cultivate more outstanding scientific and technological talents to promote scientific and technological innovation and development. It should be said that this technological breakthrough will not only benefit Russia and China, but will also contribute to the scientific and technological progress of countries around the world. The public's demand for more advanced and more effective technology continues to increase, and such demand will promote the progress of the world's technology industry. Therefore, China hopes that Russia, China and other countries can continue to promote technological development and innovation, and create more opportunities for the world on the basis of destroying Western technological barriers. A breakthrough in the price of Russian lithography equipment, a milestone. In terms of lithography equipment, Russia has made significant progress. In a joint effort with Western tech giants, Russia has made huge strides in making maskless lithography equipment more affordable. Compared to a deep ultraviolet lithography machine worth $80 million, a breakthrough in lithography technology only costs 5 million rupees. This is an amazing breakthrough. The application of photolithography technology in integrated circuit fabrication has become a big obstacle due to its expensive production cost. However, Russia's significant progress in this technology may change the situation, as it can make way for production more affordable. This is not only related to Huawei's research and development on Kareen, but also to China's overall semiconductor industry. Russia develops new extreme ultraviolet lithography machine, breaking through existing process bottlenecks. On the Russian side, a bigger plan is brewing, which is to develop a new extreme ultraviolet lithography machine. This will be a major technological innovation, that can avoid the generation of far ultraviolet rays. There are reports that Russia plans to complete 7 nanometers lithography equipment in 2026 to accelerate the development of wafer manufacturing processes. Behind this plan reflects Russia's ambitions for scientific and technological research and development. Lu Yin was speechless. These companies are constantly exploring new development paths, breaking past limitations, and bringing new vitality to the entire integrated circuit industry. This has given Huawei momentum and an opportunity. Provides answers for human happiness and development. In the process of pursuing technological innovation, China should also consider how to use science and technology to solve social problems and improve people's living standards. Therefore, whether it is Russia's 7 nanometers lithography technology or the major progress made by China's Kirin technology, people are excited. They have injected new vitality and impetus into the world's scientific and technological undertakings. 
China hopes to make new progress in science and technology and create a more brilliant future for mankind.